Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we have been designing this website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And in the previous video, we completed creating this design. Now in this video, I'll show you how to deploy this website online so that everyone can see it. And this is also responsive. So this is how the mobile version looks. So let's get started. Now for deploying this website online, we're going to use a service called Netlify. So just go to netlify.com and create a free account. You can also log in with your GitHub account. And once you log in, go to sites and you'll find this screen right here. Now you can import your existing projects over here by clicking on import from GitHub. But what we're going to do is we're going to just drag and drop our folder over here. All right. So here's the code of the website. And I have added all these files inside a folder called HTML. Now you have to drag and drop the parent folder inside here into Netlify. So let's drag and drop this HTML folder over here. And now we can see that it is being uploaded. And with that, our website has been deployed. So this is how fast you can deploy your website using Netlify. Now if you just go over here to open production deploy, you can find the website over here. So everything is working as expected. The animation is also working all right. We have the slider working correctly. And we also have the light box working correctly. Now let's go ahead and make this contact form work. Now it is really simple to make this contact form work in Netlify. So you can just go over here to forms and you can just add a name to the form in your HTML. And then just add this Netlify attribute over here and it will store these details inside Netlify. So you can just go ahead and click on enable form detection. And now we can see that form detection is enabled. So let's go ahead and make these changes in our HTML. All right, so here I have opened up my project and let's go to the form. So here's the form, we have the contact section and that we have this form. So let's remove this action and uh, here we need to add a name and this Netlify attribute. So I'll just copy these and let's add it over here. You can change this name to anything you want and then make sure that you have this name attribute for all the input fields. So here for the name, we'll just type name equals name and for the email, let's type name equals email and for the message, let's type and we already have the name over here. And then here we have this button and we have the button with a type of submit. So everything looks all right. So now let's go ahead and save this and let's update our code. So to update the code in Netlify, you can just go ahead and go back to deploys. And here you can drag and drop your updated folder. So let's open the folder. So here's our folder. So I'll just go ahead and drag and drop it over here. And now we can see that our website is being updated. And with that, our website has been updated. So let's click on open production deploy. And this is our website. So let's go ahead and test our form. So I'll just add some data over here. And let's add a message. And let's click on send. And now we can see we have this thank you screen by Netlify. So it says your form submission has been received. So let's click on back to our site and let's go back over here and let's go to forms. And now we can see that we have one form collecting data and we have one submission over here. So let's click on this and here we have the submission. And if I click on it, we have the details. So we have the name, email and uh, the message. So that's how you can make this contact form work in your Netlify website. Now, the last thing we will do is we will change the domain name of our website. So let's go over here to domain management. Now, if you have already purchased a domain name, you can just go ahead and add that over here. For now, I'll just go ahead and click on options and I'll just change this domain name that we have over here right now. So let's click on edit site name and let's change this to something meaningful. So let's tap pixel photography. And let's see whether it is available. Let's click on save and we can see that the site name is already taken. So I'll just add something over here. I'll just tap official. And now we can see that it has changed. And now if we click on this link, here we have our website on this uh, new domain, 
Pixel Photography Official dot Netlify dot app. So this is a free domain that we get with Netlify. So that's basically how you can deploy your website online using Netlify. Alright, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.